Hey guys, Hobo here, and I'm here with uh, home update number 12. And uh, since I didn't have a lot of time, I uh, just made a few updates to uh, the SS Athena, so there's nothing, uh, nothing, anything new. And no, I was just kidding. So yeah, I went ahead and I made the new battleship, like I said I would. And uh, this one's name is the uh, the Swordsman. And uh, like I said earlier, this one was named the SS Athena after a couple who uh, invited me to their Minecraft server and who are personal friends of mine. And uh, I decided to make her other half, which is the more violent half. So uh, we'll head over there now. And uh, yeah, Swordsman's a fellow D crew member of mine, so I decided, hey, why not build something for him as well? So yeah, this is the uh, this is the battleship. It's got the Canadian flag on it because he's a try-hard Canadian. And um, like I uh, I wasn't lying about the being strapped for time thing. Uh, I didn't make a beta 1.5 video purely because I didn't have any time. And uh, yeah, I'm really sorry for being like a week or two behind normal schedule here, guys. But this took a lot of time to build, and I really appreciate all the people who spammed me with comments asking for the save and not really caring what I had to do so yeah that's really appreciated but uh, as you saw before there's three entrances this one's right at the back so we'll take this one be symmetrical fall in the water so uh, yeah this is the back entrance you just hop onto the rudder go up the ladder it'll take you right up to uh, the steering area um, as you can see I uh, I made the same setup as that one. I really wasn't original on this point. Uh, as you can see, this boat is pretty massive. I'm sure there's bigger ones out there, but this one is mine. My design, pretty big. A lot of wood. A lot of wood. Um, since I'm releasing the save file with uh, with this update, I pretty much cut everything down fresh from my tree farm because I didn't want to mess up my supply because you guys, uh, you'll be the ones using it if you play on the save file. So uh, yeah, you saw the uh, the steering area. We'll just go onto the main deck quick. And uh, as you can see, there's two masts. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but the plural. But there's two of them. We'll head up to the crow's eye, or the crow's nest. Sorry, I looked up the name this time so I didn't just call it the bird's eye view. This is the crow's nest. It is actually circular this time. So uh, that's pretty cool. You can see the Canadian flag. You can see all the chunk errors everywhere. Yeah. It's a big desert over there. There's another big desert over there. If you were wondering and you didn't watch my last video, there is a little path right where I'm looking. Point at it right there. Uh, that leads to the lake in front of my house, so if you're playing on the save file, um, that's how you get here. There's just a little path through the land, and uh, it'll just take you out here. shouldn't have a big trouble. You can see the SS Athena from my house anyways, so if you're on far view distance. So uh, yeah, we're here. We're here on the uh, the main deck. There's just uh, the two entrances right on the sides here. Solid ladder, so there's no uh, no problems getting up. And uh, these ladders, they have a little uh, cool feature that I think is cool. Occasionally, I'll, you'll walk by a ladder and you'll kind of climb up them, but now that Notch made it so you need to have solid ladders, these don't work. But you just jump, and you'll be on the ladder. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You never accidentally get knocked up or whatever you're doing. That was unintended. But uh, this is the bow. Just head up right up here. This little spine goes through the entire length of the boat. So I thought that was a good way to end it. Just a little point. We'll go to the captain's quarters. It's pretty much a carbon copy from that boat. A little bigger, of course. It's got the five bed. Uh, it's got the, uh, the map chest and the food chest again. These are empty. Like I said, I was very strapped for time while making this, so... Uh, Every chest in this entire boat is empty, so you can kind of fill it yourself. So uh, that's pretty much it for the main deck. Um, there's two two uh, ladders right there, but we'll uh, we'll go check out the front quick. So uh, this boat, or this what am I saying? This room actually has a purpose this time. Um, it actually is two stairwells. 
that leads you down to the cannon level. Like I said, Swordsman is the violent one of the two. Just kidding with him, but uh, there is eight cannons, and a few people suggested that I uh, I use dispensers as cannons, but I actually want to do this right. So I made eight obsidian cannons, each with uh, automatic firing sequences, uh, so you don't have to smack them, which probably wouldn't work in the first place. This is how you're supposed to make a cannon. So uh, I'll do a little demo at the end, but uh, we'll do the rest of the tour here. This is the storage, once again, all empty, but there's plenty, plenty storage. So uh, we'll head down to the bottom floor. So this is, once again, the crew quarters area. You have the mess hall, big long table for everyone to chill and eat at. Um, you head up here, you got the same bed and personal chest set up. At the front, you once again have the uh, the first mate bed with the two personal chests. And uh, since boats, you're out at sea for a long time, we have the bathing area at the back here. And these are really just disguised infinite water springs, and you'll see why in a second. So uh, that's pretty much it for the tour. This is took me forever to build, so I hope you appreciate it. But uh, this is the boat. This is the swordsman. And uh, it's pretty big, but it's pretty simple. It's not very complex. It's got the uh, cannons and the main deck here, and you can add whatever you like. So like I said, I'll do a demo. But uh, first I'll explain to you why I have the, uh, the bathing area down there. So if you have a situation where you, uh, you're loading up, say the dirt is TNT, you're loading up the TNT, and you accidentally uh, get rid of the source block, that's what the, the, uh, the bathing area is for. You're supposed to be able to refill it somewhere nearby, because you need this water, or else you'll just blow up part of the boat. So uh, like I said, I'll do a demonstration here. I had the mob farm implemented in the uh, update number 9. So uh, that's where you supply yourself with TNT. Everything's fully automatic. You basically just fill it up exactly like this. You can try double layer for more firing power, but uh, it doesn't work very well. Um, don't try it, trust me. So like I said, you just fill it up exactly like this. Um, there is adjustable delays. You probably want to leave it at the max because um, that means it goes the farthest. You can make it air burst with a proper adjustment if you'd like. But these are boat cannons, so uh, they're not meant to be long range anyways. So you just fill it up like that, press the button. Um, it will not reach the SS Athena, so there's nothing to worry about blowing it up if you fire it this way. See, like I said, pretty short range. You fill it up like this, just the four in the bottom. Do not touch the source block and you put it right at the top. You have to put it right at the top. I don't think it works down here. Um, and you just simply press the red firing button. I made it red, so it's uh, obvious. And that's a good way to end the video. That was an accident. Hey, the spawning works. We'll go grab my stuff, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.